water hack for you RV folks out there that are having issues with your water in your camper or your RV and you have a water source but no way to get it to the pipes no way to get drinking water got something for you guys <laughs> First thing on the list. The camel review. Alright guys, so a couple of small components to patch this problem. The largest bottle that you can actually find uh, is going to be an empty bottle with your standard tip on it and it's going to be, uh, this one here is 33 liters, 33.8 liters, so one quart, 1.8 fluid ounces. But anyway, this and this See, I'll read it better that way. I don't know. Maybe I'll read it that way. I don't know. So your water filter and a gallon jug that I'm going to be putting my water in. If you come down here, you'll see the five-gallon bucket. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go outside. I'll fill up my five-gallon bucket because my water's still not working. Fill up my five-gallon bucket like I always have for my showers. Bring it in. Set it down. Then I'll take my bottle of water here. dip it in my five gallon bucket full of water it's completely full now then I'll take my Sawyer water filter with a bottle top screw it on I got a container to put my filtered water in I take my bottle of water here Tip it over, and coming out the other end is filtered water. Now because it's a bottle, I'm squeezing it right now. I could just let this kind of drain on out through. I don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to get these things filled up. But this is a Sawyer water filter. If you guys have never heard of a Sawyer water filter, in my personal opinion, there is no water filter better than that on this planet. So what I just did is because I squeezed a lot, I had to unscrew the top a little bit and it releases the pressure and then I can go back to squeezing more of it out. So basically I'm going to do this and it takes about four or five of these, four quarts to a gallon, so approximately four of these will get you full. Now I have a larger filter, a larger Sawyer filter that I use, but it's in my storage unit and I just don't feel like driving out to my storage unit to get it. But this filter was here and I have to give a shout out to uh, mom, aka Bitty Boo Brown, because she gave this for me for Christmas when I came down to visit before I moved down. And I've had it uh, set it aside for the next time I go on a hike. It was in my car, in my pack, and I'm thinking, crap, I need to go get some water. Guess what? No, I don't because... I have a container, something to squeeze it out of, and a water source. All I need to do is filter it. There you go, guys. So when I finish doing everything, you end up with a full gallon of filtered water. I didn't have to go to the dollar store. I didn't have to spend any money. I simply walked outside, filled up a bucket full of water, brought it inside, filtered it straight to a container, and slapped it in the refrigerator. It tastes just as good, guys. If you don't believe me, you think I'm bullshitting you. That tastes delicious. Just a little water hack for you guys that are having issues in your campers with water. If you don't have a Sawyer filter, get you one. Get you one of the little simple ones that clicked onto a bottle. Good enough. 
that's it guys that's the hack that's the uh that's the tip so uh guys thank you very much for uh tuning in and i uh, hope this video wasn't too long for you hope it helped you out you guys are gonna have water issues and having to do the same stuff i do buy water screw that man if you got a water source right here don't you that some bitch <laughs> all right guys later